evening and welcome to this edition of News Leader Room 6. Today is Tuesday, August 28, 2018. I'm Jim Fuller. And I'm Andrew Todd. In tonight's news, Tullahoma High School football fans were happy last Friday night as the Wildcats scored a major victory over the Coffee County Red Raiders. The Shelbyville Duck Races are coming up this weekend. The Tullahoma Area Economic Development Corporation is seeking a significant state grant. And we'll learn more about the city of Tullahoma's traffic laws. We'll have all these stories and more on tonight's news leader on 6. Russell's got your truck, man. Russell's got your truck. Keith Barnett here at the Russell Barnett Automotive Family and we have sold so many new trucks we've got over a hundred pre-owned trucks to choose from. Any make, any size, any model. It's as easy as going to RussellBarnett.com to check out our pre-owned truck inventory. And remember, why buy your next truck anywhere else? With the best selection anywhere, Russell's got your truck, man. You made the time and the sacrifice to broaden their horizons, to see their smiles, but mostly to make lifelong memories. We think it's time to do it again, just the two of you. Don't let illness or injury slow you down. The rehab team at Life Care Center of Tullahoma is ready to help you live well. Welcome back. The Tullahoma Wildcats pulled off a stunning 48-8 victory over Coffee County Red Raiders last Friday night at Wilkins Stadium. I spoke with Tullahoma head coach John Olive on Saturday morning about the game. It was a great night for the Tullahoma Wildcats. And uh, uh, what's your take on the game? I'm just proud of our young men. They came out ready to play and, uh, and played hard, played hard all the way through the game. Um, We've made some improvement over last week. Obviously, Shelbyville's a rather fine team. Uh, but uh, I was just proud of the way we handled things. Uh, sometimes in the big game uh, atmosphere, which was a great atmosphere last night, both communities turned out supporting their teams. And uh, it was exciting. I thought our student section was fantastic last night. I, I know our players appreciated the support. Uh, but uh, our defense swarmed last night, and uh, that's the thing that jump, will jump out at you on the tape is that it wasn't one player getting to the ball or two players. It was always five, six, seven, eight players. The defense gave the offense a short field all night long. Uh, we returned one punt for a touchdown. We returned another punt that put us into a scoring position. Mm -hmm. But ended up with very much offense, but we scored a lot of points, and that's what you want to do. And credit to our defense. I'm telling you, um, I'll tell you during the video the offense that we prepared for mm -hmm. as they came out with something completely different than what they had done last week versus Franklin County. And, um, and, and I thought our kids still played well. They made what adjustments they needed to make. And um, last week uh, we were getting pushed back quite a bit. Mm -hmm. I thought this week uh, our defense made some strides forward. We stayed lower and uh, we either neutralized or the push was to their side of the line of scrimmage, and I thought that was crucial. I think defense was a huge factor in last night's game. I believe in the first half, uh, uh, Coffee County actually had minus yards in, from scrimmage in the first half. Yeah, I, I think it was a, a, just a fantastic job by Coach Sis and the defensive staff getting our young men ready to play, and then uh, they turned it loose last night. And, um, you made that statement about coaches getting blamed for losses. Well, most of the time we can be pretty guilty <laughs> of that because I sure have lost a lot more games than I will ever win anymore because uh, players make plays, and that's what makes football right. uh, exciting. That's what gives you a chance to win uh, is players making plays. And, so. and, and you played a lot of guys last night, a lot of young guys uh, throughout the game, and they performed, it seemed like, very well also. We talked about that at halftime, and uh, and we're proud of everybody that got on the field. Everybody got on the field that was eligible to get on the field last night. Okay. And um, we've got a couple that, uh, between injuries or uh, transfer rules or uh, just not ready to, to go yet, they're still in some steps to get uh, things where they can play. Uh, everybody played that dress last night. Uh, 
I take it back. Now that I'm thinking about it, we had one freshman that did not play, but he served a vital role on the sideline to us. He mm-hmm. was charting stuff for us, uh-huh. and um, we. Um, I, I'd really forgotten about that until just now. <laughs> right. That everybody had gotten to play, though, that was right. that able to play. And that makes that's probably a good experience for these young men later on I hope in so. their career. I, I'm a big believer in trying to build depth for the next. Uh, I played at Maryville High in the 70s, and every year it was like we reloaded. Uh, I remember talking to my old head coach about it, and he had a philosophy. Um, my philosophy had to change over the years because the game changed so much. But any time we got up by three scores, he started substituting. Mm-hmm. And therefore, if he graduated a whole backfield, that was okay because the next crew had already gotten experience the previous right. year when the games, it was still against varsity competition. And uh, we didn't even have junior varsity football back in those days. You either played ninth grade or you played varsity. And mm-hmm. so. Uh, but anyway, that's our philosophy, and I hope that it pays off dividends for us uh, as we tried to let some other people get some experience. Yeah, and I think some of those guys that are really big stars now, uh, a couple of years ago, were freshmen, and and, and and they were having to play at that point. That's and, exactly and it, right. I assume that's paying off now. I hope so. I think it did. You know, yeah. I, I remember when this group of seniors were. Uh, freshman we took a pretty good pounding in the coffee pot yeah. game and we took another good pounding from them as when they were sophomores and then last year uh, we made a big comeback against them and uh, won 42 41 and this time uh, this group of seniors uh, uh, basically dominated the football game we'll be right back after these messages russell's got your truck man russell's got your truck Keith Barnett here at the Russell Barnett Automotive Family and we have sold so many new trucks we've got over a hundred pre-owned trucks to choose from. Any make, any size, any model. It's as easy as going to RussellBarnett.com to check out our pre-owned truck inventory. And remember, why buy your next truck anywhere else? With the best selection anywhere, Russell's got your truck, man. Ah, the glory days. Running to daylight on the gridiron and chasing a ball with a mind of its own. Cheering the team to victory and marching to the beat of your own drum. Memories that last a lifetime. But sometimes we're reminded of our glory days in ways we'd rather forget. Get back in the game. The rehab team at Life Care Center of Tullahoma is ready to help you live and play well. Welcome back. Newsletters John Gray spoke with Mark McGee about the Shelbyville duck races coming up this weekend. And I'm glad to have Mark McGee with me here today. And you are the director of United Way for Bedford County. Correct, John. Thank you. Yes. And you are doing something. This is the coolest thing. First time I heard of this, I thought this is the coolest thing I've ever heard of. I, I think it might have happened somewhere before, but to have it right here, you're getting ready to have a duck race. Duck race on Labor Day, September 3rd. Uh, <laughs> it was a, it was the brainchild of our board of directors. Uh, Brian Nairn uh, was the uh, real ringleader of this, and he's probably been following it pretty strong. And I didn't bring breakfast, but I brought a duck. This is duck number one. So. Duck number one yeah, right number there. One now, right there. explain explain how this works. Do people buy ducks? People buy the ducks. Uh, they can buy the ducks either from one of our board members or they can buy on our on our website uh-huh. at www.unitedwaybedford.org. Right. And uh, they just click on purchase ducks and they'll get a receipt and I'll send them an email with their duck numbers <laughs> on it. So uh, we've sold several already on the website and we just got it up like four or five days ago. Right, but right. We had people interested in that, and we've sold quite a few hand-to-hand. People, kind of like you were saying, people are like going, that's really unique and really different, you know. And I think that's attracting a lot of people, just the uniqueness of it. And yeah. We're going to drop um, 3,100 ducks below the dam uh, near Fisherman's Park, for people familiar with that. And they're going to burn the bridge and go down to where the river narrows. I'm not sure exactly where that spot is. Right, right. Mine does. I'm not sure exactly where. And uh, we'll have a net spread out, and then we'll also have a mesh tube and the first 10 will go in that mesh tube and we'll determine by that who the first 10 winners are. First prize is a thousand dollars. And wow. then, uh, how know, much does a duck cost? Ducks five dollars. And you can Just buy five dollars. Five dollars. And you can buy them in groups. You can buy uh, uh, you can buy a half dozen uh, for twenty five dollars you get one free. You can buy uh, a dozen 
excuse me, for fifty dollars you get two free, and if you want to really go quackers, you can buy a hundred. You can buy hundred dollars worth, and you get four free ones. If so. you want to go quackers, and we've had two people buy two hundred fifty dollars worth of them at one time. Now, what's the quacker box? Quacker box is a half dozen, and uh, and then you, you you buy five and you get the free one. <laughs> Folks, you can buy a Quacker box Quacker from this box. guy. Like I said, we've sold we've sold two two hundred fifty dollar packages. That's to great, and uh, we're you know people are catching on to it. it. Was it's a fundraiser for us. We have a crawfish bowl in, in, uh, during the basketball season during the turn, basketball NCAA yeah. tournament, and we hope this will be as big or even bigger a fundraiser for us. First time we've ever done it, and we're, we're hoping to have a good turnout. We're going to have. Uh, it's going to be 11 to 3 on Labor Day, uh, right behind the Regents Bank building on right. the square. And uh, we're going to have, uh, right now we've got five food trucks. Uh, we've got uh, several people entertaining. They're going to be doing entertainment. We've got a good list of entertainers. Good. And at noon, the ducks drop. Duck drop. Ducks drop at noon. The only kind of duck drop. <laughs> Duck drop, I remember, is the kind that you get under your toenails when you're on the farm. <laughs> well, it's really interesting. One guy bought one for me at, uh, at something a few weeks ago, and he said that he had done a golf ball drop yeah. in Alabama, and he bought a $10 golf ball, and he said he forgot all about buying it. And he said, like, two months later, he gets a call from the sheriff's department in this county in Alabama. He goes, oh, no, what's going on? <laughs> and they go, didn't you buy a, a golf ball? And they said, yeah. And he said, they took a helicopter and dropped all these golf balls on a green a golf course and the one closest to the hole won uh -huh. his one in the hole. No kidding? Yeah, so he was a winner. You got dollars for a $10 ticket. So you can win. You can win with this. $1,000 for the first one. We've got uh, six uh, Tennessee Vols game tickets for unspecified game right now. We have a prize. We've got four tickets to a Vanderbilt game, a uh, non-conference right. game they pick. We've got uh, uh, MTSU, we're hoping to have four tickets for the Western Kentucky game from them. So we're going to have several different things like that. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. We're working, on, we're working on all the prizes for that right now. And we'll have a solid auction as well. We've got Marcus Mariota, Earl Green Ducks uh, jersey. He didn't wear it, but it's one of his jerseys. <laughs> and, uh, we, and so we've got that and some several other items that, we're, that we'll have coming in, a lot of food items, that type of thing. Mark, thanks a whole lot, buddy. Appreciate and you it. know you're always welcome. Thank you. Give us that date sure. again. September 3rd, Labor Day. Uh, at, right behind uh, the right Fisherman's Park on the Duck River, right beyond the bridge, uh, we'll have the, the, the lanes blocked off and sidewalk, and also we'll have the area behind Regents Bank blocked off for uh, food trucks, entertainment, right, and right. some other booths as well. There you go. And if you want to buy a duck, you can catch one of us. That's a member of the board. We have great board directors. Uh, they're, they're out selling really hard right now. Also, you can just click on our website, www.unitedwaybefford.org, and it says purchase ducks. <coughs> click on it. There you go. Duck. There you go. We'll be right back with more News Leader on 6. Here at Stan McNabb Collision Center, we work with all major insurance companies, and we get the job done right the first time, all time. Well, I grew up in Tullahoma. We'd always done business with Stan McNabb, so when we needed collision service after a run-in with a deer, we knew to call those guys. We already had trust with them. We called Cody. He took great care of us. He kept us posted every step of the way, and we couldn't have been more pleased. Getting your vehicle back to pre-loss condition shouldn't be a headache. So in event of an accident, contact me, Cody Hall, at Stan McNabb Collision Center. All right, the cat's out of the bag at Carroll Street Liquor in Tullahoma. Now you know where to go if you're planning a get-together and want the ideal wine or spirit. Party planning can be stressful, but at Carroll Street Liquor you'll find everything you need. Mixers, gift sets, and all of your favorite spirit brands. So if you're feeling the pressure to pull off the ideal party, come to Carroll Street Liquor and select among the seemingly endless supply of wines, spirits, gift sets, and more. Your perfect party, it's in the bag with Carroll Street Liquors. When your family suffers the loss of a loved one, the caring and compassionate staff at Tullahoma Funeral Home and Coffee County Funeral Chapel are standing by to assist you in every way possible. We are proud to support local industry and offer only Batesville caskets. Many funeral homes don't own or operate a crematory. We utilize the only crematory in Coffee County. Your loved one never leaves Coffee County. We can accommodate any need and any budget. Consider our complete pre-need service to remove this burden from your family during their time of grief. Lock in today's low costs and protect from inflation. Tullahoma Funeral Home and Coffee County Funeral Chapel. Our family caring for your family. Welcome back. Tom Corrington recently interviewed Tom Robinson, Executive Director of the Tullahoma Area Economic Development Corporation. In this segment, Robinson talks about a grant the TAEDC is hoping to receive. Uh, 
Let's see, you've, you've got, uh, I've noticed something on your agenda that's a mouthful. The Transportation Safety Autonomous Center. That is a mouthful. What is it? <laughs> well, uh, one of our areas that we work in is aerospace, aeronautical uh, ventures. And uh, about, well, about a year and a half ago, we got a uh, request for proposal from the State Transportation Department of Transportation. TDOT. You normally think of automobiles and vehicles. Yeah. Well, we know that uh, UTSI was already working on, uh, you said that mouthful, transportation safety autonomous of autonomous vehicles, uh, a program that they were looking at of uh, getting into to safely test not only ground-based vehicles like these driverless trucks and things like that but also uh, in the air drones we've all heard oh, of drones yeah. and uh, some of them are used as weapons some of them deliver stuff and some of them people just play with yeah. but anyway they had already been working on that so when we got the request from TDOT to hey give us a proposal when you say testing what uh to make sure that they're operating right and not flying into each other okay or people so um uh, you know in the rest of the world uh you've got uh oh, what is the ul underwriters laboratory well there is no underwriters laboratory for drones right now and our autonomous vehicles and uh, all it, the is it FFA, FAA not no not uh, they not. may be doing some limited but on a large scale basis if you're a corporation you want somebody to give you a seal approval there's nobody to do it it's kind of like every company is testing its own right now so there's no third party to legitimize their testing so anyway we put in this request for proposal we applied made an application for a grant they had 15 million dollars we had uh, to spend for various people you know put in a proposal how they would spend uh, a piece of the 15 million dollars and so TDOT uh, they had a committee and they looked at it we only had about six weeks to put together just because of the timing so uh, we even went up and talked to them in Nashville they liked our idea, but they didn't give us any money. Uh, I think they had it uh, allocated, but uh, they dispersed that last last spring. And then we understand there's going to be, well, we know there's going to be another round. The legislature has proposed of $20 million this time. And we, we're planning and crossing T's and dotting I's and, and spiffing up our proposals so maybe we can get some money to assist in this program. Uh, it's under TAEDC's name, but the testing group that we will use is UTSI plus some local industries. Uh, and so hopefully- does this, does this mean having a, a facility here A somewhere? facility right now, they uh, will occupy a hangar out at our municipal airport uh, with this, they own, the UTSI actually has a hangar out there, yeah. and they will use uh, that for a little while. But they anticipate within a couple of years building a separate standalone facility as they grow and expand. But uh, they're going to be, and that would be at the airport somewhere. It will there. be probably there because they can put it uh, on an airplane or or a drone or whatever, and. Uh, be able to fly right there uh, now some of the th work will also be out at the main campus on uh, Arnold Air Force Base uh, or right at UTSI right on there so uh, right now uh, we're just uh, getting ready for the next year but if we get some startup money we will also use that as seed money to get some uh, additional dollars from corporations um, like Underwriters Laboratory does. They're funded a lot by the industries they 
uh, keep an eye on, out on. So we're guardedly optimistic it may turn into something significant. Yeah. So it's it's a seed project right now, but we we think it has great potential. More news later on. Six is coming up in a moment. Dr. Credit here from Russell Barn at Kia. Are you needing a vehicle but don't think it's possible because of your current credit situation? Great news, it is possible. But don't just take it from me. Here's a few of our satisfied customers and what they had to say. Not only did they take the time to get to know me and my wants, they found me someone to finance me with my bad credit and got me the car of my dreams. Dr. Credit, come see him, he's great. He can help you, I know he can, he helped me. Schedule your appointment with Dr. Credit at Russell Barnett Kia so you can drive away happy. We're losing it, doctor. Not on my shift, quickly, brush, roller, what a transformation. It's going to be okay. Okay, nothing. At Paintworks of Tullahoma, we specialize in domestic emergencies with Martin Senior Paints. You can be the paint doctor, too, when you treat your home with Martin Senior interior and exterior finishes. Doctor, we've got another one. Got you covered. Paintworks of Tullahoma. Come see the paint doctor stat. Welcome back. Captain George Marsh from the Tullahoma Police Department recently stopped by to talk about some of the traffic laws in our city. Pleased to have joining us on set now George Morris with Tullahoma, Captain George Morris with the Tullahoma Police Department. And he stops by occasionally to kind of give us some information about things that you may not know or may have forgotten about, which very well could be the case today. George, yes, you're going to talk about uh, traffic signals. Yes, sir. And at the time of year we're in, we have a lot of these pop-up thunderstorms going on right now. And mm -hmm. uh, a lot of times during these pop-up thunderstorms, we'll lose some power. Mm -hmm. Or there may be a vehicle accident where we lose some power. And mm -hmm. power may be lost at these intersections. Just want to have a friendly reminder of uh, what to do at these intersections. When you approach these intersections and the, the intersection lights are completely out, mm -hmm. these intersections should be used as a four-way stop. Right. Which means when you enter the intersection, just for instance, uh, you and another vehicle enter this intersection and there's no lights mm -hmm. and you enter at basically the same time just remember the vehicle on your right will have that right of way right. through that intersection uh, just use extreme caution but just try to remember those rules of the road these are things that we don't think about but also when you come up to that same intersection let's say there's been a power outage and it's starting to come up, the lights are blinking yellow or the lights are blinking red mm -hmm. Just to remember that when the lights are blinking yellow, you do not have to stop that intersection, but you should slow down and uh, patiently go through the intersection. Yellow means caution. Yellow means caution. Right. And on the other side, you may have a red flashing light, which means stop. Of course, again, danger. Mm -hmm. But you will have to stop at that intersection until the other side is completely clear. You got an increased uh, likelihood of an accident in an intersection where there's no no light, no light signals in that intersection. So it's just remember those rules of the road. And, mm -hmm. uh, and the, today's day and age, it's so easy to look it up. Mm -hmm. You know, basically it's talking to the smartphones you have now. And just, mm -hmm. You know, what do I do at an intersection that's, that's down? And it, right. it basically goes through and it'll show you the statutes on it and mm -hmm. how to find, how to, what to do in those intersections. Just, uh, you know, just go back and just teach yourself again. You know what what the rules of the road are. That's that's. That could cut down on a lot of accidents, just knowing the rules of the road, and we forget those as we, you know, mm -hmm. we've been driving for a while, we forget those. When I went to school, with, before you could ride your bicycle to school, you had to learn some safety rules with the bicycle, and right. had to have a paper signed, you know, that you right. could ride your bike to school. But during that time, you had to learn some, some rules of the road, one of which is uh, turn signals. What signals to use when you're riding your bicycle, mm -hmm. which those are true for an automobile operation also. Mm -hmm. So it's, just remember, look those up if you don't know them for sure, but uh, just remember that you, your arm signals are your signals. If your turn signal is not working on your vehicle, please use those arm signals. Can too. you demonstrate for us, George? Well, you probably could yeah, demonstrate okay. some of them. If you remember the right turn, is it your horizontal out? Uh -huh. And that, that's your right turn. Uh -huh. Your left turn is straight out. Yeah. And your stop signal is down. Right. Okay. All right. And uh, and actually, that can be quite helpful. To it can be behind. quite helpful because if you, you know, if you're if you're pulling a load, there's a, there are, there is an exception to that rule. Uh, if you're uh, operating a vehicle that is uh, what well, there's 20 more than 24 inches or 24 inches or more between the top center of your uh, steering wheel mm -hmm. to the left side of the vehicle, mm -hmm. which it don't give you enough room to get your arm out to completely do. There's an exception where you must have mechanical. It must be mechanical uh, electrical right. lights on that vehicle. Right. And for a vehicle that's pulling a load of 14 feet or more, where you where it won't be, you you could not be could visible. Not 
visible from the yeah. rear. From right. Well, there. one of the things that brought this to my mind is uh, the other morning I was driving and I noticed one of the kids on a bicycle <clears throat> using those arm signals to make a turn, letting people know behind them where they were going. Right. And uh, that, that really crossed my mind again, how many of us remember to do that? Right, exactly. So that, that child was using those and it's something to remember to look at for these children so that they uh, so we're, we're taking better care of them. We know what they're going to be doing. Right. If we know them, we know what they're going to be doing when they're right. using them. And don't forget to tune into this week's Living Show tonight at 6.30 p.m., Thursday morning at 9 a.m., and Thursday, Friday, and Saturday evenings at 6.30 p.m. This week's guests include Tullahoma Police Lieutenant Phil Henderson, who will drop by and talk about handicap parking regulations. There's an opportunity for you to help out the area's only homeless shelter. And we'll see more from the Triquetra in preparation for their upcoming South Jackson show. All that and more on this week's Living. Stay with us, we'll have your weather forecast right after these messages. Russell Barnett Hometown Auto Rental has proudly served your auto rental for over 30 years. Check out this huge selection to choose from. Small car, mid-size car, full-size car, crossover vehicle, SUV, minivan, pickup trucks, 12 and 15 passenger vans. Whether big or small, Russell Barnett Hometown Auto Rental has them all. Stop by our two locations to serve you, Tullahoma, and in Winchester. And remember, my question is, why rent anywhere else? Here at Manchester Funeral Home, we know the importance of living and working in our local community because it's those families who we serve during their time of need honorably. We believe in supporting local business and offer only 100% Batesville caskets, the best in the industry and a driver of our local economy. If you want straightforward and fair pricing while working with the people you know, choose Manchester Funeral Home, serving your community since 1932. And pre-planning and pre-funding can be the best gift you ever leave your loved ones. Call us to pre-arrange. Manchester Funeral Home, our family caring for your family since 1932. Mayor Lane Curley is challenging Tullahoma area citizens to join him and walk the Appalachian Trail. And you don't even have to leave Tullahoma. You can get fit this fall by putting one foot in front of the other and walk the Appalachian Trail. You'll win prizes, get weekly fitness tips, and enjoy fun weekly walks with area personalities. You'll feel great getting fit. We want businesses, churches, families, and friends to form a team and join our walk along the Appalachian Trail. Starts September 4th, ends October 15th. Welcome back. We'll take a look at your weather forecast at this time, starting with your weather history on this day. Our record high was in 1990 at 100 degrees. The record low was in 1967 at 52 degrees. The average high on this day is 87, and the average low is 65. Partly cloudy weather in the forecast for tonight with a low of around 74. 40% chance of rain for wind in the forecast for Wednesday with a high of 91 and a low of 72. 50% chance of rain in the forecast for Thursday with a high of 88 and a low of 71. And that's our news leader report for this evening. We invite you to join us each Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday at 6, 8, and 10 for News Leader on 6. You have a good evening. Have a great evening.